We're up at Peachtree Cab Airport today by Atlanta, Georgia. We're going to do an IFR flight with the TBM 850 down to Perry Houston County Airport, just south of Atlanta. Let's get this started. All right, welcome aboard everybody. We're here in the TBM 850 at Peachtree Cab and we're gonna start this engine up. Give them the sign, let them know we're ready to wind up. He's saying we're clear. Fuel boost pump on. We're gonna go start her on. Got the starter light blinking and the ignition light is illuminated. First two things you wanna look at when you start up a TBM. Watching the NG rise up. It's gonna stabilize right at about 14%. There it is, we're good to introduce fuel to low idle. Now we're gonna watch for the light off. Watching the ITT for a hot start, NG for a hunk start. It's a nice cool day here at Peach Street Cab, 10 degrees Celsius. Looks like the ITT is gonna temp out right at 688. It's a nice cool wind up. ITT is gonna drop back as the engine gets rotation. Now we're watching the NG for hung starts. Two most common failures you'll get on a start in a turbo prop. Nice start. So we'll continue our flow. So welcome aboard everybody. We're here at Peachtree Cab as we stated. I'd like to welcome on board my uh, co-worker and uh, first time co-pilot, Justin. Welcome aboard. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you up here riding with me. We already got the ATIS. We got information Sierra. Winds are coming out of the uh, north and we're going to be taking off uh, three right. We got our clearance. We're cleared as filed. Maintained 3,000. One 1,000 10 minutes after. We got our departure frequency at 2697. We're going to be squawking 5115 in the transponder. All right, we are ready to go. We'll give the uh, ground a call. 605 Lima Mike, P Street Ground Runway 3, right taxi, Bravo Alpha, hold short, front me 3 left. Bravo Alpha to 3 right, hold short of 3 left for 685 Lima Mike. Ground 851 Tango Bravo, we're over at Signature Sierra, Ray Taxi, IFR. One Tango Bravo 3, right the Alpha, cross 3 4, hold short, runway 3 left. Roger, Alpha, cross 3 4, hold short of 3 left, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, there, we've got a taxi clearance. Uh, we'll give the uh, quick flash of the taxi light to the marshaller. Let's let them know we're ready to taxi. And here we go. Tell us to go straight ahead. Expect flight level 21010 minutes after departure. Frequency 126.9 or 7. Squawk 72. To the left we go. All right, good afternoon, cross 206. We are cleared while we do They did a good job here at Signature. 3,200, minutes after. 126, decimal 9 or 7, 7275. Feather the prop twice. Road 206, three back, correct. As we taxi to our runway. And right up here is Alpha. We're going to turn right. And we're cleared to cross 3 4. We're going to hold short of 3 left. Very important to be able to follow the taxi instructions properly. We'll feather the prop one more time here. Monitor tower, Lima Mike. One tank of Bravo. Caution on the personal equipment left side there as you cross the runway. Please caution for that equipment. 851 tank of Bravo. One tank of Bravo. Monitor tower. Have a good day. Monitor tower. Thanks for your help. 851 tank of Bravo. The monitor tower. Hit the go around button. We're going to arm 3,000 feet. Go into heading mode for our departure. And this is runway 34 right here. We're 
totally can cross that, even though we're totally clear, and the runway's closed, but we'll still check, clear to the left, clear to the right. So Justin, I'd like to welcome you aboard. Uh, I'm excited to have you on the TBM today. Have you flown on smaller airplanes before in your lifetime? No, first time. Awesome. And we're going to okay. check our flight controls, if you look out at the wings, free and correct. If you look down here at the iPad, this is going to be our routing today. And as you can see, this is where Atlanta Hartsfield is right there. Flight time is only showing around 33 minutes today. And we were told to hold short of three left will be the first runway here. And as you see at the front, it's very important we do that because there's airplanes landing on that runway. A little Cessna coming in here. And the runway we'll be taking off is three right, which is right on the other side of this runway. We'll hold short right here. The hold short lands. That little Cessna did a touch and go. I got a Premier jet taking off a three right over there. We'll be departing behind him. Number uh, 685, Mike Chen Chang, land of departure. Or departure, leave a mic. Have a good day. Good day, number 851 Tango Bravo, peace tag, cross three left, hold short three right. Cross three left, hold short three right, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, so clear to cross three left, clear to the left, and the final looks clear. Okay, if you look out the front up there, that's going to be three right out there. We're going to hold short of that now. See three right written on the taxiway right there. Got the nice blinking lights too right by the hold short lines to catch your attention. November 851, Tango Bravo Peach Tree Tower, stay with me for a turn runway three right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, three right, 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, clear for takeoff. Down the runway is clear and the final is clear. Petrie Tower, Duchess November 6711, Golf, 10 miles to the east. We have information. Sierra requesting full stop. Duchess 6711, Golf, Petrie Tower, I don't. We're going to line up here on center line. There we go. Duchess one Golf, confirm your 10 miles to the west. And now we're going to ease the prop RPM up. The west, one golf. There we go, and we're going to advance the takeoff torque to 100%. Midfield left downwind for runway three left. And takeoff power is set. Well, temperature pressure is all good in the green. We're holding center line with our rudder pedals. Watching that airspeed build up. And when we get to our rotation speed, there it is. We can pull back on the yoke. And up into the sky we go. See you later, Peachtree Cab. Positive rate in indicating. We're running out of usable runway, gear selected up, and we tap the brakes to stop the wheels from spinning as they go up into the wheel wells. November 851, Tango Bravo, turn left, heading 360. Again, heading 360, contact the liner departure. Have a good day. Left to 360 and over departure. Enjoy your day, one Tango Bravo. Image at 902. There's our 360 Lockheed, heading. Five miles northwest bound at and we're going to go flaps up. You got a damp run. You look out there at the wings. See the flaps coming up. Atlanta, good morning. November 851 Tango Bravo, 1,900 climbed to 3,000 on a 360 heading. 851 Tango Bravo, let a departure ident, climb and maintain 7,000. Ident, climb and maintain 7,000, 851 Tango Bravo. So I'm going to hit the ident button. 851 Tango Bravo, better contact and flighting 030. 030, 851 Tango Bravo. He sees us on his radar and we're now going to go to a 030 heading. Break to Lima, traffic at 2 o'clock and about 8 miles southwest bound. And there that is, we'll roll out. 4, and we're right about 140 right, knots, I'm going to put the autopilot on. So we're in heading mode, I'm going to climb in IES mode, autopilot on. 902, turn 10 degrees right. 10 degrees right, give now, The airplane's going to pitch right for 100, looks like 38 knots right where I put the uh, IES button and the autopilot on. And it's just going to keep pitching for that airspeed. Beautiful view out there of Georgia. Overcast day and a little chilly, but good day to go flying. TBM one Tango Bravo, turn right, heading one zero zero. Right one zero zero, one Tango Bravo. So one zero zero set up our heading bug, and since we're in heading mode, our airplane will turn over to that heading. Look out the right wing down there. You'll see yeah, Peach Street Cab area. How's it, Justin? You like the view? Yeah, it's beautiful. 
Lingo into 850 mode. Power lever just under 100%. Flap lever goes up and over the gate. Now we can utilize the torque to pass 100%. Uh, yeah, I've got him for 1,000 to go. That's our L2 to lower. Passing through 6,000. Climbing to 7,000. We're actually starting to go into IMC conditions now. We're, we'll hopefully just break right out the top of it. Nice sunshine in her face. Two hundred feet to go. It's always a fun feeling when you're in the on the ground. It's all gloomy, and you break out into the sunshine. It's a beautiful day up here. I was hoping we were going to get above uh, Land Hartsfield today for the transition, but it looks like they're going to take us to the east. TBM one Tango Bravo, flooding one five zero. One five zero, one Tango Bravo. One five zero is set up with our heading bug. Look down here at the iPad. You're gonna see there's our breadcrumb trail where we took off. Now we're starting our turn down to the southeast. Yeah, there we go. Got a few little showers down that way. As you can see on the iPad. And out the front window, you'll see those same showers out the window with a little bit higher clouds down that way. So this is the iPad Mini that I'm using today. Got the pivot mounting system. I'm actually going to be mounting the new iPad that they, uh, came, Apple came out with. We'll be able to use the Apple Pencil along with the uh, case. Uh, if you guys want to get a setup like this for your airplane, be sure to look in the description below. 15% off your uh, purchase with my discount code. Like I say, saving money is a good thing. Look off the wings there, we're cloud surfing through the tops of this little overcast layer. I appreciate all I got on It's always fun when you get to fly through the clouds, get your instrument rating. Actually, I can you can go ahead and uh, climb back up to whatever VFR altitude you need, sir. Uh, anything higher than 35 uh, would probably be the best for all the traffic. And I see most everybody's between 3 and 35. And to stay so ahead of this flight, we'll go to the airport tab. Factor for me anymore. We got the weather there. Winds are actually calm. Roger. Overcast at 3700. 3013. Was coming out of the north earlier, the wind. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, flooding 170. 170, 1 Tango Bravo. 170 set up with their heading bug. So, I don't know, let's see, what should we do? The ILS, if we come over here, procedures. We could do the ILS 36. Or actually, we could do an RNAV. I say we do an RNAV. Let's do the RNAV 18 since the winds are calm. And I know our FBO is on the south side of the field, so when we land, we won't have to do any back taxi, really. So we'll get all set up. That's our approach plate for the RNAV-18. We'll get Definitely set up for that. Up. And we'll get ready for the AWOS 2382. Let's get that set up in our COM-2. Always good to stay ahead of the flight. Makes flying a whole lot easier. And if you were to get behind, and then you got to try to catch up on everything. And we'll put the Unicom in there, 2272. That's going to be all set up in our COM-2. Unfortunately, Justin, I don't think we're getting many very good views here today. It's just a lot of clouds. Yep. <laughs> but that's what's nice about when you get your instrument rating when you're a pilot. Yeah, the, uh, doesn't limit you as much as on days like today. But I definitely don't think we're going to be going to our first so one fix. Bravo, turn right heading 185. 185, 85, Tango Bravo. So the airport we're going to go into does not have a control tower. It's an uncontrolled airport, so we'll have to announce all our intentions so other pilots that may be in the area will know what we're doing. So the airport, like we took off out of today, Justin was a controlled airport with a tower, so you know they were able to give us instructions. This airport up here won't have that. One take a Bravo, turn right heading two zero five, then we'll start a climb here at about six miles. Right, two zero five, eight five one take a Bravo. We're still at seven thousand feet. Can probably get you direct parry if you want to stay below ten or at ten for uh, one take a Bravo. Yeah, we'll go with that plan. Eight five one take a Bravo. Roger. One Tango Bravo, you can proceed direct parry now. We'll still start that climb here at about six miles. Direct parry at this time, 851 Tango Bravo. So I went direct enter enter and we're nav mode. Airplane's banking to the left. We're direct to our destination. One Tango Bravo, climb maintain 900,000. Climb maintain 900,000, 851 Tango Bravo. 900,000 set up with our altitude pre selector. We'll VS that 3,000 feet a minute, up to 9,000. Take number Charlie Ritter, contact about a mile and a half southeast of Gwinnett, turn right, heading one nine or zero. Out the front window there, you'll see we get some sunshine here and there a little bit. Actually, there we go. We did break out. 
Nice. Now it's going to smooth in right on out for us, Justin. We'll get some nice smooth air. Nice. 1,000 feet to go. I like smooth. Oh, yeah. For people that don't fly in small airplanes a lot, you know, the smoother ride you can give them, the lot better it is for the comfort level. This will work out nice. Nice and smooth above the clouds here. And we'll go over and see if we can get hear the AWOS there at uh, Perry. Perry, Houston County Airport. Automatic weather observation. One, eight, three, niner, Zulu. Weather, wind, calm, visibility, one, zero, ceiling, three, thousand, seven, hundred, overcast. Temperature, one, three, Celsius, two point, seven, altimeter, three, zero, one, one. Now we're going to switch over to the Unicom. We'll start monitoring that comp too to get an idea for if there's any airplanes going in and out of the airport. Good afternoon, Atlanta Challenger 797 Charlie Sierra leveling 8000 at D-Han Peachtree Sierra. 797 at Charlie Sierra, let it apart right in. Perry traffic, Scott, 9 Juliet Echo, left final runway 36 Perry. All right, so that Perry airplane's using 36. That was left. somebody else at Perry. 9 Juliet Echo is left space, runway 36. Let's go. Okay, well, it sounds like a bunch of airplanes are using 3-6. So you know what, we're going to have to switch it up to runway 3-6. I don't want to come in and goof up the whole traffic pattern everybody else is using. If there was no airplanes at the uh, airport, we would do what we want. Since there's other airplanes there, we'll uh, go with the flow and do whatever everybody else is doing. And now our minimums coming in the other direction will be 745 feet. Put 328 in our radar altimeter. A little bit different minimums there, from a different direction. That's why it's always important to me to always monitor the Unicom on the uncontrolled airfield before I get there. That way you know if you hear the airplanes farther out, you know what they're basically doing before we get there. Rather than just going to that frequency right as we arrive, then it would be all a big surprise. Okay, Fox There's another airplane up here. They're all using 3-6. It must be a good one training airport. Final on approach on 124.2. We'll see you. 24.2, enjoy your day, 851 Tampa Bravo. Clock, make it 12 o'clock, 5 miles westbound of the Coast Guard helicopter, 4000. Ah, Coast Guard. 36 Victor, we'll be looking. Oh, no uh, Coast Guard. Going off frequency to get the weather at 6 Alpha 1. Atlanta, good afternoon, November 851 Tango Bravo, 900,000, direct Perry. November 851 Tango Bravo, line approach, Roger, making all Tempest 3010. Good afternoon, advise the weather and approach request. We do have the weather, and we'll put on the request for the RNAV uh, 36851 Tango Bravo. One Tango Bravo, Roger, will that be a full stop? Hey, firm, full stop, one Tango Bravo. One Tango Bravo, to set and maintain 4,000. Okay, set and maintain 4,000, 851 Tango Bravo. 4,000 set, we'll be at 1,500 feet a minute down. Okay, Jack, take care. Easy box try. Left cross on runway at 36. There's another airplane. There's a lot of people using Perry today for training. We'll have to keep a good eye out when we come into this okay, airport. 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 We'll actually make an announcement over on Unicom. Even though I'm monitoring Atlanta, we'll go to Comp 2 real quick and just do a transmission over there. Once we get to about 20 miles out, just to let those guys know we're inbound. Look at the right wing there. You're going to see we're busting through one of the cloud right layers here. Maintain one zero thousand. About to go into the next one. Perry traffic, Scott, 9 Juliet Echo, left crosswind, runway 36, Perry. And yeah, we'll make an announcement here at Perry. Perry traffic, TBN, we're 20 miles to the north, we're going to be inbound, uh, 36, Perry. Even though we're still 20 miles up, the speed we're going, we're only four minutes from the airport. We're clipping at a pretty good rate, so that's why I gave a call up at 20 miles. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, flighting 200 vector for uh, runway 36, descend to maintain 4000. 200 on the heading, and to maintain 4000, 851 Tango Bravo. We're widening out here for, to set up for the approach for runway 36. Fox yeah, actually look at the iPad here, you're going to see there we are blinking away, coming in on the, uh, in regards to the uh, approach. But most likely I think we might get Boss A as our initial approach fix. We're going to go... Select approach, RNAV 36, Passe is our initial, and actually since we're on heading assignments, we're going to activate that. There we go, now our whole approach is all set up on our GPS. we got some light precip on the windows, as you can see there. 
Back into the gloom we go. Thought we got out of this stuff yesterday. Yeah, I know. Big front push through last night. Runway three six Perry. All right, so still got multiple airplanes in the pattern here. I'll give uh, another call here once we get just to the west of Perry. It seems like everybody that's doing their training here is making very good radio calls. That's always important. That way everybody can keep a good awareness of where everybody else is at. Better to get a little bit of ground contact out there. Perry traffic, Skyhawk 9 Juliet Echo, clear front way. 36, Perry. Not there, was that according there? Who's gone? There we go, look at the front window, we're starting to break out. And let's see if I can find the airport over here. Second. Actually, I think I see the airport off our left wing over here. Yep. That's it right down there. Yep. So we'll continue just to go around to fly the uh, RNAV 36 just for good practice. Good to make sure the airplane knows what it's doing from time to time. Beautiful view though, going in and out of these clouds out here in the front of us. Ferry traffic, Cherokee 199 or Juliet Bravo 3 to the east. Probe flight downwind entry 336, Perry. Perry traffic TVM, we're five miles to the west. We're going to be inbound for the RNAV 36, Perry. Atlanta 851 Tango Bravo, any chance to get a descent? 851 uh, Tango Bravo, descend to maintain 2000. They maintain 2000, 851 Tango Bravo. So we'll go 3000 feet a minute down. We'll pull the power back, slow it up so we get down. Wow, look at the sunshine out the front coming through the clouds on the ground out there. That's beautiful. And we're still on a 200 heading. Uh, I don't know how he's going to get us into this approach, but I would like to be able to go to Direct Boss, Boss A. Atlanta 851 Tango Bravo, any chance I go to Direct Boss A? 851 Tango Bravo, see Direct Boss A. Direct Boss A, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, in the nav mode we go. Boss A is six miles up here in front of us. Atlanta 851 Tango Bravo, we can just cancel the IFR, it's VFR, we're just going to do the, uh, we'll do practice approach here, 851 Tango Bravo. 851 Tango Bravo, cancel the snapper, receive, register, squawk VFR, frequency change, approve, good night. Roger, squawk VFR, frequency change, approve, 851 Tango Bravo. We'll do, uh, go up to 2100 feet, which is the uh, approach for the initial approach fixer, or bus A, and then we got hit no at 2100 feet, and then we go down to 1600 feet to intercept the glide path over Purdue. So here's bus right. A. Perry traffic, Cherokee 19. We're squawking 1200. So we don't have a squawk code anymore for IFR, for VFR now. We're going to start a left turn to 095 in six seconds. This is an RNAV approach. Perry traffic, Cherokee, Fox Chai, on the go, upwind, runway 18, or 36, Perry. Perry traffic, TBM, we're turning a 10 mile left base on the RNAV 36 for only 36. Perry traffic. So our next fix here is going to be Hitno. Look down here at the iPad. Stop, there we are. It's not 100% accurate, but there we are going to Hitno now. That's where I'm going to turn northbound into Purdue. Beautiful day here in central Georgia. Okay, there's somebody on a left crosswind. So he just took off. Now he's turning left off his departure. Perry traffic, TBM return a 10 mile final for runway 36 Perry traffic. Here we are coming up a hit now. We'll be able to go down to 1600 feet. PBM prepares for you, FBO. I've got a question for you, Jerry. Go ahead. You guys going to be here for overnight? The affirmative will be overnight. One take three, five, one take Alright, we'll have the, uh, we have a rental car from here for you, and uh, we'll park you and get you ready for overnight. Perfect, thank you so much. Very so your rental car is there, Justin. That's good news. Approach course is zero, zero 005, or zero, zero 002 actually. Now we're going down to 1600 feet. We'll slow it up here, get configured for this approach. And we'll arm the approach. All right, so we do have the airport out there in front of us in sight. Now we're gonna be watching for the glide path to come down, just like an ILS for the most part three miles from Purdue where we're going to intercept that glide path. We go first notch of flap selected. Got the wings out there. Selected. Anytime you flip any switch or button in an airplane, always make sure it indicates. And indicator. Left base. 
Runway 36, Perry. We'll actually put our pulsating lights on. Perry traffic, TBM, five mile final, runway 36, Perry traffic. Looking for that traffic on our left base. Wide path is coming in. Once we get one dot above, we'll go gear down. And there we go. One dot above, gear selected down. Watching for that three green, very important. Three green, confirmed. So gear is down. Go 25% on the torque. Looking for that other airplane that was uh, in the pattern. It's on the ground now. Ferry traffic. TBM three mile final, round three six, ferry traffic. Ferry traffic, Turkey, easy fox shot on the field, runway three six, complaint. There's that traffic that landed, he's now doing another touch and go, he's up off the runway, so that's good. We're looking good. Speed looks good, a little bit fast still. But we're correcting for that. We're right on the glide path properly, and we're just a little bit to the left of uh, the approach course, but it's correcting. And we can go down to 745 feet, so we'll show you how low you could go if we're still in the clouds. 500. That's 500 feet to the ground. Don't we'll disconnect the autopilot. And hand fly the rest of this approach in. Perry traffic, TBM, short final, 3-6, Perry traffic. There's our decision height, right there. That's, look out the front window, that's how close we could have went down to the runway if we were IMC and we needed to shoot this approach. We would have had to break out right there at that shine. We're looking good. A lot easier, right Justin, when we don't have crazy weather and clouds to deal with? I feel a lot more comfortable today. <laughs> we can see the runway quite a ways out. So we'll go back to flight idle. Go to the flare. There we go, center line. Bring the nose down, we'll go back into reverse. And we'll get off here at this next taxiway of Lake Bravo. There we go, welcome to Perry Georgia. I never thought I would come to this place, but thanks, Justin, for taking me here. <laughs> Bad. And once we get it past the whole shore line, we'll just call it clear the runway. There's the whole shore line. Cross that. Come to a stop real quick. Clean up the plane. There traffic, TBM. We're clear at 36, and we're taxiing back to the PO. And flaps up. Clean the plane up. Reset the trims and we're good to go to taxi back to the uh, airport authority here. Alright, so yeah, we really enjoyed having you guys on board today. If you did like that video, be sure to smash that little thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Also, click down below all the different social medias I'm on, Instagram, I'm pretty active on. You can see behind the scenes a lot of what I'm doing when I'm not flying or in between the flights when I'm not even filming for YouTube. Justin, thanks so much for riding along with us today. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast, thank you. And the airport authority is right up here to the right. And I see the marshallers out there, so they're all ready for us. This should be an interesting little layover. Hey, Steve, that's you and Perry? Yeah, that's me. Sounds like somebody. Yeah, big fans down here at the North Hangar. Oh, cool, thanks for following along. So we got some, we got some uh, fans here, Justin, from here at Perry. I'd like to thank everybody that follows along. It's awesome. You guys are awesome. Aviation community is such a cool community to be part of. It's always cool to get some shout outs. So there's a marshaller right out here in front of us. We'll follow the hand instructions in. Now that we're pretty close here, we'll turn off our taxi light. But anyway, we hope you guys are doing well wherever you're watching from. And uh, we'll talk to you again someday soon. Take care, everybody. Awesome, man. That was fun.